Robin from Frantic. Yeah, and uh, how long has Frantic been going for now? Uh, Frantic's just celebrated his fourth birthday. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fourth birthday, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, we had our fourth birthday at Brixton Academy yeah. um, just last month. Um, yeah, basically just to celebrate how much it's grown from a small party at the clinic in Soho, which was Will's birthday. We have about 150 people and just how it's grown to Brixton Academy. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, um, it, like Camden is your normal venue, isn't it? It's yep. your regular venue, yep. yeah. So, is that like the foreseeable future? You've got no plans? Absolutely. Camden's no. like one of the best venues it in is. London. It's a wicked sound system. Excellent. Uh, it's just designed for clubbing, really. It's a wicked atmosphere here, so definitely. So, and uh, what, what do you actually do for Frantic? What's your... I'm um, the promoter, so I do... Um, yeah, basically all the promoting, like anywhere that you see Frantic, um, the name, or hear about it, that's what I'm responsible for. Also, ads. Um, getting editorial and magazines, um, flyers, you know, all that sort of stuff, and then just going into the clubs and just talking to people. And how about DJs? Do you, do you do the DJs or...? No, I'm uh, famed for my lack of uh, music knowledge and right. uh, <laughs> appreciation of DJs, so I don't do the DJ lineups um, at all. Um, so who, who, who normally takes care of that? Uh, Will and Amanda do that. Amanda, Will and Amanda, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, and, uh, to them. Tell me about more about um, Frantic in Australia. So I know it's um, yep. moved over to the other side of the world now. Yeah, Frantic Australia was yeah. started probably about 15 or 16 months ago. Really? Um, obviously started because like the large audience of Frantic yeah. seemed yeah. to be Australia. So well, I've been coming to Frantic like, for about nine months now. And uh, the amount of Australians and New Zealanders you get yeah, here, yeah. it's amazing. They, and they love that hard house. They do, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, so it's like it's the main core audience and it just made sense to move yeah, it to so Sydney and Melbourne we do it. Um, Melbourne's been a bit more successful than Sydney because it's a different clubbing market. Um, but yeah, it's been very successful and to the point now we've got people going to Frantic in Australia who haven't actually been over here. I obviously started with people um, who'd been to Frantic here and then wanted to move them back to Australia. But, Okay, well, thanks so much, Robin. Thanks so much for your time. It's okay.